NHL lotteries tonight, and Connor Bedard is he's a stud. Oh, yeah. I think we can all mutually agree there. Uh, Pistons lottery is in about a week from now. Victor Wembanyama is a stud. Two teams that, listen, we're rooting for to win the lottery. I think we can agree that the NHL lottery, there's probably more uh, of a chance that the Red Wings can slide. So that's always worrying. I mean, the Pistons, at least if they if they slide, they'll, only be, they'll still be picking top five. The Red Wings could slide all the way to seven, eight. Uh, but in your opinion, if you had to pick one, which lottery are you looking more to? And which lottery would you rather win? The Red Wings or the Pistons, God, this where, is, where they're currently at as a franchise. This is tough because I would love nothing more than for the Pistons to be good and exciting. And if they get Victor Wembanyama, you might be looking at play-in game next year, or maybe in playoffs next year, especially if he becomes what we all think he, he can become and Cade Cunningham comes back healthy. But Connor Bedard, this Red Wings team is dying for like that <laughs> superstar 1C type player. They were a borderline playoff contender for much of the year without him. And if you put Connor Bedard on this team, I truly believe you get your Jack Hughes, you get your Connor McDavid, you get your Sidney Crosby type player. And that might be the, the last piece to a team that could contend for cups. As of right now, we already see a team with Dylan Larkin, with Mo Sider, with Lucas Raymond, with guys like that, that next year should be in the playoffs. But with Connor Bedard, this could expedite things to a level in which we're expecting cups in a couple of seasons. I think he really is that good. I think he is one of the best prospects of the past 10, 15, 20 years. That's why I mentioned him in the likes of the Connor McDavid's and the Jack Hughes. So to mm -hmm. me, it has to be the Red Wings just because they are closer. And I think Connor Bedard has the potential to put them over the top soon. And I think another argument you could make would be there's more risk with Victor Wembanyama, mm -hmm. even though he's an incredible talent, I think I would even be willing to admit with him being seven five, uh, uh, the history of the NBA usually tends to f to look at seven five human beings, and naturally they're just more injury prone. There's not a science behind it. It, it just it is what it is. There's a lot more risk with Victor Wembanyama. I'm willing to admit that. So for me personally, even I would say if the Red Wings win the lottery. My goodness, what it would mean not only for the Red Wings to kind of kickstart this, you know, re, I don't want to say rebuild, but retool a little bit. The, the Pistons, even if they don't win the lottery, if they're still picking top three, they will be okay. Like, although Victor, there, there's, yes, Victor's the number one overall pick. He's, he's the best prospect, arguably, since LeBron. That's all said. Yes, I agree with all of it. But there is more risk with Victor. We can agree there. With Connor Bedard, what he did this year and last year, I think the point differential from him and the next guy was 35 points. It's